Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program which results in illegal argument exception. Let me answer. In Java, you will get illegal argument exception in one of the cases that I am going to show you practically. That is with thread.sleep. If you give a negative value into the thread.sleep method, then you are going to get illegal argument exception. There may be many other examples in Java program. You may get illegal argument exception. That means you are calling some predefined methods and you are passing some illegal arguments to that particular predefined methods of the predefined classes in Java. In such kind of cases, you will get illegal argument exception. One of the case I'm going to show you guys. So that is, uh, you can go to this Eclipse ID and create a new class. And I'll name this class with some name, let's say some random name, let's say class 12 uh, with the main method I'll create. Inside the main method, inside the main method, you write down uh, system.out.println, system.out.println here, starting off main method. Here, system.out.println, then write down ending of main method. Okay. In between that, you just write down thread.sleep. Okay. Thread.sleep. Here, we have to give milliseconds. For example, 3000 milliseconds if I give over the mouse on this, ignore the exception here for a while. You see this particular statement, you are passing which type of argument? The sleep is one of the predefined methods of the thread predefined class in Java. Sleep is a static predefined method of the thread predefined class in Java. And to this particular method, when you are calling this method, you have to pass the argument in positive number format. That too in milliseconds, guys. That too in milliseconds. If I give 3000, uh, if this program will work fine without giving you any exception in the output. You see, starting of the main method will be printed after three seconds ending of the main method will be printed. Okay. So this will halt the program for three seconds. So what if I give minus 3000 or minus some negative value if I give, is that a correct thing? Though it's asking you to give a number, but uh, it cannot be a negative value, right? Minus 3000 is a negative value. If you run the such kind of code in such kind of cases, sleep predefined method of the thread predefined class in Java will consider this negative value as an illegal argument and will give you an exception known as illegal argument exception in the line nine. You see, starting of the main method got printed while the line one got executed. Okay, in the line nine, we got illegal argument exception. You see, illegal argument exception we got. The reason for this illegal argument exception is timeout value is negative. The timeout value cannot be negative. This is only one case in Java where you are getting this illegal argument exception. You can explore other areas in the Java program where you may get illegal argument exception. And some people also use, uh, you know, uh, some kind of con uh, conditional, you know, customized code, they will write and throw illegal argument exception. In such kind of cases, they'll also use uh, customized uh, code to give illegal argument exception. Not only this one, guys, for example, I'll comment this out. This program will definitely give you illegal argument exception. Apart from this, there may be some custom customized programs based on some value. If they are not receiving, if the condition fails, they'll throw an illegal argument exception. For example, here, scanner. Scanner is equal to new scanner. I'll, I'll collect the input from the user. This is another example for getting illegal argument exception. Control shift O. Scanner will be imported from java.util package. System dot in, I'll write down. And here I'll write down uh, system dot for the user to understand what he, what uh, the user has to enter. Enter your age. Okay. Enter your age, I'll say. And here I'll collect the input. Scanner dot next int, I'll say in integer format, I'll collect. I'll say int age is equal to, and here I'll write a condition. If age is less than 18, okay, if age is less than 18, then I'll simply say throw new. Throw is a keyword in uh, Java, guys, using which we can throw whatever the exception type that we want to when this kind of conditions kind of satisfy. If a user enters any, is age as less than 18, throw new. Here I'll write illegal argument exception. Like this, you can throw also. Apart from getting illegal argument exception by passing some illegal argument values uh, to the predefined methods of the predefined classes in Java, you can also get illegal argument in this format. Some people will also use this illegal argument exception in this format. Illegal argument exception. And here we are we are 
throwing an object of the illegal argument exception. And here you can also pass the reason, guys. You can also pass the reason. What the most on this illegal argument exception and uh, where is that change to illegal illegal argument? There is a spelling mistake, guys. That's the thing. And here you can provide the reason. Age cannot be uh, le uh, age less than less than eighteen is not allowed. Okay, age less than eighteen is not allowed. Else, okay. Okay, let's say you went to a movie theater, uh, you know, uh, into the movie theater, uh, kids are not allowed. The, uh, the kids whose age is, uh, you know, not equal to 18 or greater than 18 will not be, uh, I mean, if it is less than 18, the kids age is less than 18 and then the kids are not allowed simply. So age less than 18 is not allowed, will throw. Otherwise, uh, okay, you are allowed to watch the movie, okay. You can watch, you can watch this movie. Okay, age age less than eight is not allowed uh, to watch this movie. Okay, I'll write this. Okay, to watch this movie. So here, what happens? The user has to enter, and in this scanner object, uh, you can close it as a best practice. Once your task is done, you can close that, guys. Okay, run the code and observe that uh, if uh, the user enters the age which is greater than eighteen, then not so okay. If I give twenty five here, if my age is twenty five, if I press enter here. You can watch this movie will be printed. You can watch this movie will be printed. You see, they're allowing me no illegal argument exception coming. But if I run the code again and uh, if I give the age as let's say 12, press enter, exception in thread main, you see illegal argument exception is uh, manually thrown here. When this kind of uh, programming condition satisfy illegal argument exception, age less than 18 is not allowed to watch this movie, okay? Such kind of uh, pro uh, customized code you want to write in Java, and uh, you want to, you know, give different type of messages back to the user. And you can handle this uh, illegal argument exception by using try catch block. And, you know, in the catch block, you can give a proper message so that remaining portion of the code will continue. That's up to you. But I'm just showing you some examples, guys, where in which you will get illegal argument exception. This is one of the case where you got illegal argument exception uh, using the predefined methods where you are into a predefined method of the predefined class in Java where you have passed negative value, where sleep predefined method of the thread class in Java will accept only positive numbers, okay, in milliseconds. Okay, you just uh, hover the mouse on this, uh, uh, press control key and your uh, button, your cursor will change to hand symbol, then open declaration you say in Eclipse ID, it will be taken here. Here you see long milliseconds. You see here, if milliseconds is less than zero, then throw new illegal, whatever, whatever the customized code we have written here, right? Whatever the customized code we have written here, right? Even Java developers also have written the same customized code. Uh, it's a static method. So this is a class is thread class. The name of the class is thread class, guys. You see the name of the class is thread class. Inside the thread class, when you say control O, you'll get this and you can search that particular method that is sleep method. Sleep of long, just click on that, okay? So thread is a, uh, sleep is a static predefined method of the thread class, thread dot sleep. And here you're passing this uh, method. And while, while, uh, while calling this particular method, you have to pass one argument in positive number. If you give, that's okay. But if, if you are not giving in positive number, it will check here milliseconds that provided by user is less than zero, then it will definitely throw you illegal argument exception saying timeout value is negative. Okay. Otherwise, uh, it will, it will, it will make your program halt for that much amount of time. Okay. Two nanoseconds, it's converting then uh, thread uh, sleep event, even before sleep, if thread sleep instance of value thread value dot sleep nanos, okay. So some code is going on and, uh, you know, internally it's making sure that program is halting for uh, 3000 if you give means three seconds it will halt. If you give minus 3000 means it is throwing you illegal argument exception. This kind of customized code is there internal, in the internal implementation of this uh, sleep predefined method of the thread class in Java. So hope guys with this practical demonstration, okay, you got an idea or answer for this question, write a Java program which results in illegal argument exception. Whenever you get this kind of question, you can uh, you can use thread dot sleep and pass some negative value to the thread dot sleep and will give you illegal argument exception. And you can also on the top of that, if the interview for the interviewer, you can also explain the logic behind that. Okay, when you pass negative value, the predefined method of the thread class in Java, static uh, static predefined method of thread class in Java, a bill. Uh, will have some contain uh, some logic where the milliseconds entered by using negative value, it will throw an illegal argument exception using the throw keyword. Like that, all you can explain, guys, so then the interviewer will get impressed, okay? Not just so giving a program blindly and uh, stopping there. You also have to explain the reasons 
why that particular method is giving illegal argument exception, how the Java developers have implemented that redefined method. If you give, the interviewer will definitely get impressed by you with your knowledge and all stuff. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.